Because I move it in and out of my place, the uh, scooter, the mirror, when you get on the road, always needs adjusting. So that's what I did. Adjusted the mirror. In our office, May 9th, it's about 11.30 in the morning. And we're on for another ride. It's a Sunday morning. I was a little slow on the mark today. Didn't get us started as early as I hoped. But nonetheless, uh, it was good. Just glancing in the side view mirror to make sure I have a good rear view, and I do. So we're off. I had to turn towards my parents' house. I got some more work to do down there. And things are coming along at my office as well, my, my place. The work's going very well. I'm happy with it. Of course, not all our discussions are going to be extremely heavy. they don't have to be. This, sometimes it's nice to just ride and enjoy the scenery. Of course things are going to change up a little bit. As the ride along has become more and more typical, I think the, uh, uh, our life as Cyborg Alpha is going to have to change a little to meet with the realities of uh, the ride vlog. So, another thing is that the ride vlog will probably set, move out to their own little sphere, their own vlog itself, its own vlog. And, And other content, like the music studio, is going to come into the Our Life as Cyborg Alpha. Uh, the Gnosis is now continuous. It's, it, it is the continuous uh, neutral gin. The meditation is continuous. And that's moving off into uh, its own show, its own vlog. I'll know she's notes, it's the boss meditations. And I have one coming up for uh, another one for, for QLR. As it comes in, into its own existence. Much faster today, no lights. My body physiologically is responding to the rise, it's getting stronger. Particularly my upper body, my shoulders, and my biceps. And I'm pretty much used to the vibe, but there's still uh, growth to go.
we'll have to buy a new headlight for the uh, scooter. It seems to have gone out, so I'll have to sort of work on that. And I have to do get I have to get a kit, an electrical kit to work with the uh, scooter. Uh, uh, with the scooter's electrical system. That has to be done as well. So let's slow down. We've got a light here. So we're slowing down to deal with the light. Wait behind the bus for my turn to go on Victor Van Horn. He's gonna stop there more likely than not. Now oh, there you go, he's stopping at Van Horn. <laughs> it's my turn as well. Oh, let's wait for him to go. Quicker than expected. I didn't expect to go that quickly, but anyways, we are on the way. Trying to avoid some of the potholes here. I haven't checked up on what line LeBron has been doing today, so I'm pretty sure he's, he's uh, popped off another video. If I have more more office work to do today sort of writing and uh, uh, looking at my schedules and fixing things up. Everyone loves my scooter. So 
o'clock in the afternoon, so 16 hours into the ninth day of May, and we are off again. Hello. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> things from their own perspective and then the problem is when you dig yourself into one perspective and then your perspective changes you're now stuck because you have now put yourself into two different positions in many cases there are many cases opposing to each other and if you misphrase things you make the situation worse. I mean, this is the problem with some of the conspiracy theorists who will go off the rail declaring the, their knowledge on, certain, on a certain thing. Then they get trapped with, again, no paying attention to what is being said. Going overboard in their statements in terms of exaggerations and so on and so forth. And then, getting stuck when the statements that they made in terms of going overboard are opposed to what they had in their, their previous statements. In other words, you have, they, they make a statement that let's say one, let's say in January, then make another statement equally
actually inflammatory, but in the opposed direction. So now they've made two con they've made two contradictory remarks, each opposing the other. What do you do then? And of course they'll cover their mistakes either with a miracle or something along those lines. And it can be a miracle of anything. A miracle of God, a miracle of science. The number of beliefs out there, the number of religions is... well... Beyond what you can count, it's <laughs> in other, there are more religions out there than there are genders currently. Because whatever you believe is now a religion. If you believe the sky is made of cheese, or the moon is made of cheese, then that's your religion. If you believe the moon is simply a stamp and the world is flat, that's your religion, and you stick to it with a whole other group of people and swear up and down that everything else is a conspiracy to hide the truth that the earth is flat, the earth, and the moon is simply a sticker in the sky. And of course, the only proof that you have is that there is some elder out there who has told you so, and that you've seen this on some website, a YouTube video, and, well, that's basically it. It's amazing to see how they squirm their way through uh, a number of uh, positions and situations that they got themselves into without trying to point out the mistakes they've made. In other words, they try to hide the mistakes, they cover up the things that they didn't know or, 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 or the contradictions hoping no one will notice. Uh, I've been watching some of my ride, my ride videos and they're really nice. Of course the weather's nice outside too. Let me just adjust the mirror here a little bit. There we go. I have a better adjustment of the mirror. Oh. My parents like it warm in the house. Uh, when I get outside, it's nice and cool. Wakes me up. I fall asleep at my parents' house. A lot. So many dandelions out. I should go dandelion picking. Does dandelions make a good tea? Now you can go buy your tea in a store, or if it's readily available, you can go pick your own tea. The grandmothers from the old villages, a lot of my aunties, uh, went out. And to, um, on the side road and began, we are always out in this season uh, picking strawberries, picking dandelions. Oh, just as you would pick strawberries. And there are even wild grapevines that grew up here. 
Uh, wild blueberry vines too as well. Getting a lot of the red lights. <laughs> uh, I have to change the Kleenex in the coat, my jacket. It's time. As they find a political excuse, the governments are becoming more and more draconian, more and more dictatorial, and more and more abusive. And in that, typically, people are behaving more and more insane. So, and then they wonder, they have an article, why is mental illness such an issue for our age? What do they mean for our current time? Well, maybe because you've been abusing people? <laughs> do you think maybe abuse has something to do with how people are behaving or responding to you? Or in general? Because if, it's, if, it's, if the abuse is part of the general environment, in other words, it's systematic. This brake keeps kicking in. There we go. I passed a lot of the, the holes. I think it, this is something never mentioned by Lionel LeBron about of Lionel Nation uh, in his discussions. Now, I don't know what he's doing on Lionel Media, but again, again I'm not going to pay for it. Because really, I don't think there's, not, there's that much more to be said. No, it's just a matter of patience and waiting for the situation to burn itself out, which is what we're starting to do.